Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're on the Pit Boss and we're doing the big boy. And we're doing some brisket. You definitely want to check it out. Here we go. Overnight cook on the pellet grill. It's going to be great. Let's roll. So we're in the kitchen. We are about to season our brisket and get it ready. I've already got it trimmed. If you want to check out the card on how to trim it, I've got it right up here. But we have our pit boss warming up at 200. We're going to go from about, it's currently almost 7 p.m. So we're going to go 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. at 200 degrees, cook this bad boy all night. Um, and then we're going from there. So we're doing 16 mesh black pepper. We're doing a dash or so of Holy cow from Meat Church and our binder. We're going to be using Worcestershire or Worcestershire, uh, as my grandpa used to call it, Wooster Shoot. First thing we're going to do is meat side up. We're going to hit this with our Worcestershire. And it's going to run off. Okay. Rub that again. No gloves. Backyard cook. I think we're okay. Family to be enjoying this. Plus, I wash my hands, so there's that. Take our pepper. Cover this bad one with pepper. This is what's going to create the bark on our brisket. Actually, the reaction. Side. One pepper first. All right, and then we're gonna let this bad boy sit for about 20 to 30 minutes while our pit boss warms up, and then we'll get her going. So for this particular cook, we are gonna be using the Bear Mountain, and this is the Oak Blend. And so Bear Mountain is available at Academy Sports, and it's pretty cheap, but it cooks well, puts off good smoke, I think, and so, we're going to be using that, but you definitely want to make sure you fill up your hopper before you go to sleep and leave this thing going all night. Definitely also want to bring it away from the house uh, just for the time of cook as well. Uh, but again, around 7 p.m. here, we're getting it ready and uh, we're going to leave it on all night. So here we go. Bear Mountain for the win. a.m. the next morning exactly 12 hours from when we put it on haven't touched it haven't spritzed it it has just run at 200 
and about to head outside and check out how she looks. Sitting at about, it's gonna get up to about 180, probably 170 ish. And so that is almost perfect for us to pull this, wrap it, and then we're gonna roll for the rest of the day at 250 degrees. So we've been going to 200 all night. Now we're gonna step into 250 once we wrap it. But we're gonna take her inside, I'll show you how to do just that. Okay, we're back inside. And we are gonna, we got two pieces, two pieces of butcher paper here, and we're gonna drop a brisket right in the middle of it. We're gonna use some apple cider vinegar to get some pliability in the paper, and then we're gonna wrap her up. Get a treat. Just gonna spritz down that paper. Apple cider vinegar. So here's kind of the way I like to fold it is to take this bottom left hand corner, bring it over the brisket like so, okay? Then bring your back side up and over. And again. Okay. Then bring your right side all the way over. Okay, so coming through in like this. a little bit of this there. that way I can get up under here and feel it if I need to without having to unwrap the whole the back portion okay Here we are, it's about two hours, 10 o'clock-ish, uh, 9.45-ish, and we are gonna check our brisket. All right, so we're, uh, here's what we're looking like. We got our paper is starting to get uh, pretty soaked with just uh, oil and, and fat grease and different things like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh, probe temp here. So I'm gonna take out my thermopin. My, pit boss meter that I have in is giving me a general idea. So right now it's reading 210, uh, but it's also typically runs a hair hot. So like if I, if I use my thermopin, it seems to be a little more consistent. And so if I poke that down in there, we'll show you what we got. All right, so currently our meat is sitting at 205. You see that's poked right about in the middle, uh, giving us a good idea of where we're sitting. So this is only gonna go for probably I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 more minutes or so just to get a little bit warmer and then I'm actually gonna set that out uh, for about two hours on the countertop in the kitchen uh, if you have an outdoor kitchen great place to set it as well uh, but I'm gonna let that sit for a couple hours so that it can just stop cooking okay and then from there we're gonna stick it in a Yeti uh, and it's gonna rest for the rest of the the evening until I'm ready to cut it for the for, for dinner. All right, we're out in the garage. Our uh, brisket has been sitting in our Arctic uh, 
for the past three and a half hours. And so you can see it there wrapped in a towel, all nice and pretty. Oh, it smells delicious, holy cow. Uh, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this bad boy out and slide it on a baking sheet, take her back inside, we'll open her up there, let you see what we see. All right, so we're gonna open her up. Let's see what we see here. Gorgeous, gorgeous bark color. Good and squishy. Whoa, that, my friends, is a good looking brisket. Now, we're gonna cut her open. All right, so we've got two pieces to our brisket. We've got the flat and then we've got the point. And so what we wanna do is find that right here about the middle, and that's where we're gonna make our cut. We don't have one of those fancy slicing knives. Pop that open, pretty juicy and good looking, right? That smoke ring, good moisture, oh yeah. starting to fall apart awesome smoke ring whoops awesome smoke ring our bark is kind of falling off just because of my knife uh, but man melt in your mouth mm -hmm. that's delicious all right here we go we got that mm -hmm. oh melt in your mouth deliciousness melt in your mouth goodness you're gonna to wanna to try this one. See you later. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff.